Hi. Today, we're going to be having a look at an amazing maths strategy that we're going to use for subtraction. It's called the jump strategy. We're going to be using a number line to help us answer this question. We're going to be subtracting the smaller number from the larger number today. So, let's read this number sentence. 44 take away 35. And we know that it's going to be subtraction taking away because of the subtraction symbol, or the minus sign. When using the jump strategy, we always start with the largest digit in place value. So the largest digit in place value is 44. I'm going to write 44 on the right side of the number line. Okay, so let's start subtracting. I'm going to break up 35 into its tens and ones. So 30, well I know 35, 30 in 35 is three tens, 30. Five in 35, well that's five ones. I'm going to take 30 now away from 44. I'm going to do a big jump to show that I'm taking away 30 from 44. If I take away 30 from 44, I'm left with 14. So, I've taken away 30 from 44. What am I left with? That's right, I'm left with 5. I need to take 5 away from 14. But I think I could break 5, split 5 up into a more manageable group of numbers. I could split 5 up into 4 and 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. If I take 4 from 14, I'm going to get a nice round number. Let's have a look. I'm doing a jump of 4. Notice that my jump of 4 isn't as large as my, my big jump of 30. So, if I take 4 from 14, I'm left with 10. That's a nice round number. So I've taken 4 from 14. That's left, we, left me with 10. And I have 1 left. I'm going to take 1 from 10. Well, that's easy. If I take 1 away from 10, I'm left with 9. And that's my answer. Forty-four take away thirty-five is nine. Pretty cool strategy, right? Okay, I want you to try and see if you can use this strategy to answer some questions. Have fun!